Okay, so the setup for today is a one element, one source element. It is my LED once again, and it's actually a mixture of daylight and tungsten. So it's the color temperature is somewhere in the middle, and it's coming directly from my my nine o'clock uh, position here. So it's given a very specific effect where some of my face or half of my face is in shadow to maybe create more of a, a sinister look but um, that's uh, that's for judgment later apparently um, also what I also wanted to mention too was that while I'm recording my sound uh, split into two channels I also have my H4 going directly into my camera and what I discovered was that it doesn't take the place of the camera's microphone it actually splits the camera uh, the sound captured on the camera as well into two channels so there's two different levels that are being captured by the camera and there are two different levels that are being captured by the h4 which means that i actually have four different soundtracks that have different quality of audio uh, i did discover though that the camera no matter which track on the camera there is a slight hiss and it's it's really not great i mean it's it's more than room ambient noise it's something different and I I don't think that I like it I don't think I like anything about the sound being captured by the camera which is uh, which is a Canon 60d uh, but anyway so that's it that's the only setup I wanted to talk about today um, it is uh, it's like 930 at night here so there is no other light source coming in whatsoever except for the, the LED and um, yeah, I guess it's kind of an interesting look. All right. So anyway, uh, what I promised was to talk about a review that was done about the New Hampshire Theater Awards the last time. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to, well, I'll, I'll try to be brief. But uh, I'll, let me just give some background and, and start by saying, I mean, I'm not looking to produce a whole bunch of credentials about uh, about what uh, I am and you know why I I'm in the position that I am, have been in for the for the New Hampshire Theatre Awards, but um, back ten years ago, I happened to be really good friends with the person who who started this whole thing. I was in the position where um, I was doing work for the people that actually conjured up this this whole idea, and I've been serving on the board ever since. You know, my my participation in the first couple of shows was very. Um, was much on a much smaller scale. Uh, I performed in the first show and helped out backstage. The second show, I was more of a yeah, assistant stage manager type uh, type duties. And all the decisions, ec economic, artistic, were all kind of done by a very, uh, just a few people. By the third year, um, it was kind of turned over. the The person that founded it had moved on. Um, the New Hampshire magazine that had fully sponsored it up until that point I uh, was looking for a, a partner because of the money had been lost in the first two shows and well um, somebody stepped in with the money somebody stepped in with an idea and it was somebody who was running a very successful theater group professional theater house and um, it's one of the first times that the whole board sat together and actually talked about all the things that they'd like to improve in the show I mean between the first show second show I don't know how much of that actually took place I mean it, it may, if, if there was a discussion it was probably just limited to a, a couple of people but by the third show everybody on the board had started contributing ideas to what could make the show um, shorter more cost-effective and maybe even um, heighten the entertainment value of, of what we what we were doing and um, it was very successful so I, I say successful in the fact that you know we we continue to make improvements from that point on being more mindful of of the audience and of the time and the quality of, of the show um, but um, I think it was uh, year four year five is when I actually started having more um, direct input into what the actual show looked like year four and five I finally I took over as stage manager for the show and and kind of watched I, I, I watched you know from backstage I I timed everything I, I 
I, I watched the video afterwards to see what was happening, you know, what what the lulls were, you know, what we could do to improve it. So my input was even more so after by the by the time the fifth show came around and the sixth show was actually pretty much just um a redesign based on my interpretation of what I was seeing and um, a, a lot of the other board members having had still contributed things as well because we always elicited you know response from the public and and um, and other people as well but um, so yeah so this the sixth show comes around and um, I developed one of the first things I did was develop a spreadsheet you know budgeting time for all the different events you know how many awards that we were going to hand out what order we were going to hand them out how much time we were going to give people to you know present uh accept uh get to the stage um how much entertainment we were going to provide and where and um you know i wanted to make sure i mean we we had a show that was uh presenting three hours worth of just award giving and less than one hour of entertainment you know which i didn't think was a very good balance so um it was it was something that I, I really studied and took a look to see when when things kind of lulled you know uh, after certain awards is there is there something that we could do to kind of improve this area that area you know it's, it's kind of like a rhythm you know a heartbeat of a show and you just want to make sure that it, it has a nice flow and that's something that I I looked at every year that I was directing those shows and I, and I say directing but directing is really not an accurate word uh, coordinating is probably uh, something better to describe what happens during the award show. I mean, you've got a producer that you know they 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 put up the money. They they want to see certain things, and then you have coordinators that have to make sure that all the pieces are in place. You know that um, when it comes to audio and video, when it comes to the set, when it comes to the sound, when it comes to the lighting, when it comes to the musicians, when it comes to the performances, the performers, the ticket sales, the pre-planning, the party. I, there's there's a lot, a lot of details that uh, need coordinating. Um, in in the first couple of years where I became the director, so-called director, uh, I handled m a lot of it on my own. And then slowly, more and more people became, you know, the, the board got involved more, and it um, it kind of like lessened the duties on myself and, and, and included more people, which is I I think a good thing. You know, the more people that are involved, I mean, the, the better something's going to look. Somebody that has more time to donate to a specific thing. But um, yeah, I'm rambling on, and I, I kind of wanted to get to that critique. But I guess I wanted to talk about my involvement in the award show prior to, you know, actually breaking down what somebody claims they they interpreted, you know, during the, the course of the evening or over the course of ten years. So I think I will leave that probably till tomorrow to to get to because. It is late night and I have to go to work, so I'm going to leave you for now, but um, I will talk to you again soon.